Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be doing a one-day landscape job, but actually I have a crew with me, and so it's only going to take like a couple of hours. Uh, this is a friend of mine, uh, Joseph. Can you tell me about your landscape company? Yeah, so I own Marble Botanics. We're a landscape company that specializes in horticulture and planting. We know kind of the soil conditions that we deal with in Raleigh, and we try to uh, put the plants in and give them the best chance of success that they they can get nice yeah i've known joseph for a little while he worked at a nursery uh, that i used to shop at when i was a landscaper for a long time i met him there and since then he started his own company and he told me about this little spot he had coming up to landscape so um, i got some plants uh, most of them are from the southern living plant collection we're going to lay them out in here a few different ways and uh, show you how i go through thinking about this i think a lot of times um, on a little rectangular entry space like this with a rectangular sidewalk People will just put straight lines of things in here, um, but I've got some other ideas. I'm gonna lay them out two or three different ways and before we sink them in the ground and just talk through that. So this is my first layout, and I think it's the one we'll end up uh, going with. Uh, there's some Everillo Carex on this corner. One thing I wanna point out is that we always talk about using odd numbers, and I do like to use odd numbers but I like to carry something from one side of a bed to the other to make it look like there was some thought put into it. So here on the end of this bed, there's three of these Everillo Carex, and um, over on the other end of the bed, uh, there's one that's carried over there. There's three of these Leucanthemum, bloom all summer long, uh, beautiful white and uh, yellow flowers. And if you come back over to this side, same thing, there's one additional one right here. Uh, using these three jewel box uh, distillium that get maybe two to three feet they'll eventually fill into just kind of one plant in that area and again coming back over to here we used another one just to make it look like there was a plan there's three uh, purple daydream laura petalum rather than running this stuff you know in straight lines across here they've been put into kind of triangular shapes um, everything is angled out here the house is angled the sidewalks angled no per no I don't really like to put the plants in in straight lines at that point. We've got one of these new uh, upright, narrow growing uh, gardenias from the Southern Living Plant Collection uh, that uh, will come up uh, onto this wall a little bit, but uh, I like the layout. And then jumping over to the other side of this sidewalk, there's three touch of gold hollies uh, that are going right here that'll just be a nice pop of yellow color and did that a couple times you notice it's shady um, along this uh, front foundation uh, early in the day and these bright yellow pieces uh, will be a nice pop of color it's going to be sunny here uh, in the afternoon and these are those three uh, three of those uh, evergreen stelladora uh, daylilies they bloomed i put them on a landscape job last year and they bloomed the entire summer so again i really like uh, this layout uh, came back in here and made one change pulled these purple daydream laura petalum a little closer to the front and added a, uh, a dwarf butterfly bush uh, back here in the back. It's dwarf, but it'll still get three or four feet tall uh, every season. So we're going to go ahead and sink these uh, in the ground um, using some pine bark soil conditioner. There's a couple ways you could do this. Uh, this is super heavy clay uh, soil in this bed, and uh, we'll, we'll mix some pine bark in plant to plant. But we could top dress the entire area with pine bark soil conditioner and then till it in. But... All of these shrubs are just kind of fixed pieces. They're not going to be, you know, rotated in and out. So I'm just going to, uh, the guys are just going to do the, uh, do it by each plant. A uh, few shovelfuls with uh, uh, whatever comes out of the uh, ground, which is almost entirely clay. This area along the sidewalk um, had these uh, stones on their side uh, for edging, but the soil had gotten right up to the top of them. So any mulching, any work we did in here, the mulch was just going to wash onto the sidewalk. So the first thing we've done is cut this down on this side, basically created a, a little trench for the mulch uh, to fall into here.
So this is an example of the uh, clay. Uh, this is in Durham, North Carolina. The clay tends to be a little redder uh, in Raleigh, just a little bit east of here. And over here, I've always noticed this, this is kind of a gray, a gray clay, but you can see it's just, you know, you can ball this up as like a baseball. Uh, so we're using pine bark soil conditioner uh, mixed in with it to uh, just to keep it from recompacting. And then we're leaving the plants a little bit elevated. And I hope you can see that. I've got this up um, where I planted these three Laura Petalum. I've left them up about an inch and a half and the uh, hardwood mulch will take up the rest of that space. All right, so everything has come together uh, really quickly. So canthamum there again, that uh, Carex looks great. And uh, these uh, evergreen Stellas are gonna look great right there. Most of this is lower spreading stuff rather than doming around uh, things. And so the distillium is gonna spread outward a little bit and can be pruned whenever. Same thing with these purple daydream uh, Laura Petalum. Uh, this uh, dwarf butterfly bush will probably reach somewhere up in there. It'll get pruned in the late winter uh, every year. These distillium again will just kind of fill in and become one plant in this area. And again, carrying over one something from one end of the bed to the other is always a good idea. And then we've left this gardenia up really high because um, they're not clay soil is not their favorite thing in the world. But I think this has turned out really well. Got some cleanup to do uh, on the sidewalk here and then uh, a yard of uh, triple shredded hardwood to put down. So we're in the process of wrapping this up. Uh, it's the end of March. And so we did throw out some fertilizer uh, while we were doing this. And it, we have super low pH uh, in our area. So although these are acid loving plants, we can just use something like plant tone. That's what I use at my house. But I think this has turned out really well. Anytime we're working with these clay soils and you're putting foot traffic in here, we make a bit of a mess. This is every landscaper uh, can tell you this in the, uh, the mid-Atlantic. And so, you know, cleanup can take a little while, a little while longer, but I think everything in this bed turned out well. And again, I like this uh, approach to, you know, doing some uh, grouping on one side and then repeating it uh, on the other. So it looks, again, looks like it was planned and it's just not gonna be straight lines. Everything in here is appropriate uh, sized for this bed. Um, even though it all looks the same kind of height right now, you know, there will be some height differentiation in time but nothing that's going to kind of outgrow this space it's not going to need to be if you come in here and you fill this up with super fast growing things then in three years you know you're pruning it and having to you know do tons and tons of work in this space uh, to maintain it or you're tearing it out and doing it again so i think we've we've gotten the appropriate uh, sized pieces in here nothing in here is going to get taller than three feet or so except for that Dwarf um, butterfly bush will, and this uh, gardenia over here on the left um, will give us some height. So thank you very much for watching this uh, one day landscape job. I hope to have a few more of these during the year. Hopefully uh, Joseph will uh, let me know when he's got something else like this. I just wanna show these small weekend warrior type jobs where I feel like you could go and get you know 15 pieces and uh, get them in the ground, get them planted, get it mulched and finished in a single day. Thanks for watching.